Okay, so this is the final vlog. Um, so first just touching on what I think about the title of the course, Reading Mad Women, after the fact. Um, so I initially kind of thought we were just going to be reading about female rage and kind of just staying on that path of looking at mad women. Um, but I soon found out that that is not at all what we are doing. We're kind of enveloping ourselves in women who are simply reacting. They're just reacting to how they're being treated, um, how they're being spoken to, how they're expected to be. And that's all, that's what I really think mad women are, is they're simply reacting to um, what's being pushed upon them. So when I was thinking about this, I kind of saw like a linear connection in some of the things we looked at in different modules, starting with um, the Taylor Swift song, Mad Woman. She says, no one likes a mad woman. You made her like that. And you'll poke that bear till her claws come out and you find something to wrap your noose around. When I was watching the Mustang for this week, um, I immediately thought of that because that is what it seems like is happening to these girls in the film, um, the guardians and the adults and just this community are poking these girls until their claws will come out and they're looking for something to hang them on or hang them for. And the actions of the girls in the film, you can see is really just their reactions to those things. Um, they're not crazy. They're not mad. They're not misbehaved. They're just reacting to the environment that they're in. Uh, and I think that's a lot of what Mona talks about in The Seven Necessary Sins is how we women are often judged and punished for the way that we choose to retaliate against um, wrongdoings. And uh, you also we also see that in My Sister the Serial Killer with Kareed. Um, She's expected by Ayula to be the sister that's going to uphold her secrets and her um, and her crimes. And she's being expected by Tade to be the supportive sister who wants them to be together. And expected by her mother to be a sister who is always on Ayula's side and always will drop anything to do anything for her. Um, and we see that throughout the course of that novel kind of drive Kareed mad and and... It is literally just her reacting to the cards that she's been dealt and the the people what the people around her are doing and saying and forcing upon her. And as far as insights that I've taken from the course that I will take on um, or take with me in the future is probably just this definitely the sins, Mona sins as a foundation. I would have never thought there were so many avenues in different ways that women were being oppressed. Um, and in other words, so many different ways for us to fight that oppression and use these necessary sins to overcome this centuries long systemically patriarchal system that is rooting against us. Um, and I think a personal way that I will take this uh, and use it in my life is I work in the service industry. I serve food um, and if any of you have done that, you probably know that it's very easy to be taken advantage of and mistreated by men in that uh, workplace. So I think I'm definitely just going to take a sense of confidence and a sense of, I don't know, retaliation uh, forward from Mona's writing. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to put everything I've learned into action.